race fam, Brian Davis Races, and you can too. We haven't talked much about nutrition stuff on this channel ever, because I'm not very good at it. But last year I did do something and it worked really well for me. So we're going to try it again this year, except this time I'm going to bring you along for the ride. And I know why I didn't do it last year, because I didn't think I was going to be able to stick with it. And I was right, I didn't. But this channel's done a great job of keeping me accountable at certain things. So we're going to try it this year. And here's what it is. I'm just going to make one simple change through this week and see if that has an effect on my weight. And that change is going to be doing a green smoothie every day of the week. Now I like these smoothies that I make because I have kind of a recipe figured out that tastes really good. I slam it down. The trick is after I have my green smoothie, can I eat much else after that? But I think I have a solution to that. So. Uh, my wife picked up these hemp hearts recently, and that, I'm hoping, is the key to changing how this green smoothie works for me. So let's go through the ingredients, and then I'll give you a little bit more detail. So I use the Ninja Blender. Sorry for the way this looks, but it works for us. So the Ninja Blender is super powerful. It is really loud. The, in my smoothie, in this cup, there's going to be two bananas, a tablespoon of sugar, and as much um, spinach as you can put into that. And then I'm gonna top it with the hemp hearts. And so the hemp hearts have a lot of uh, fat and protein, so it's kind of a, a really nice combo for what I need to fill in the blanks on this. So the carbs are gonna come from the sugars, and then um, all the nutrients are coming from the spinach, and then of course you fill it with water, so you'll get some hydration. <clears throat> so this week from today is Sunday to Sunday. I'm gonna have that every day for breakfast and that's it I really hope that's true. That's all I'm gonna have now the rest of the day I'm just gonna go about my business and not try to change anything. I'm gonna see if that has any effect So this morning, let's weigh in and see where I'm starting All right, let's make the smoothie Seven more days of this. Now, I know the sugar is gonna get some interesting response, but for me, uh, I don't mind it. The sugar, I think I need those carbs. When I come home from the afternoon, I just eat carbs, 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 carbs. So my body's trying to get all those carbs converted to sugar anyway. So I'm gonna cut to the chase and just give the old guy some sugar. Plus it tastes way better with sugar. So if a little bit of sugar gets me to take on way more nutritious foods, then I think that far exceeds any damage. Those are my thoughts. Not an expert. All right, let's see if this one trick works. Race season is upon us, and I would like to weigh five pounds less. Happy Tuesday! Oh. <laughs> Happy Monday! Cheers, mates. See, it's really good. Honestly, it's really good. I'm not even lying. All right, happy Wednesday. I don't think I've lost any weight yet, but my energy levels are sky high. I feel great. So, if I get nothing else out of this week, at least I get that, totally worth it. Popping out of bed, much more excited, good workout yesterday, great workout yesterday. We'll see what happens today with a full length workout. You want a green smoothie? No thank you. Hey race fam, it's Friday. If you remember, we started on Sunday. I'm gonna give this until tomorrow because we're taking a little family day up to a hotel and I feel relatively confident that I'm gonna drink beer and eat poorly on Saturday night. So I'm gonna do the weigh-in tomorrow. I can tell you the results so far. I'm weighing 175 this morning, so that's a four pound loss in one week just by doing one simple change, which is two bananas, spinach, 
hemp hearts, water, that's my green smoothie, and a tablespoon of sugar. So my theory on this, just in case we don't get time to talk tomorrow, is that, yeah, there's sugar in there. My body's converting all these things to sugar anyway, so let's just cut to the chase, give it sugar, and then maybe it craves less. My other theory is that by putting sugar in the green smoothie in particular, if that gets you over the taste issue of a green smoothie, which by the way is really good, um, but the sugar certainly helps. But if you put a little bit of sugar in there, I think the greater good is to have more of those fruits, vegetables, whatever you're gonna have in the morning, and you're sacrificing a little bit of bad in order to get that greater good versus taking on dairy or something like that with um, cereal. And I've noticed in the last year or so, dairy really affects my weight. So I've been trying to cut down on that significantly. So, but these green smoothies just seem to knock it out every time. Plus my energy level this week has been off the charts. I mean, seriously a difference maker in my energy level by switching to these green smoothies. So in the past I would have these green smoothies, but just like maybe one or two a week. Um, but this week has been different by trying to do it every day. It's definitely had a bit of a cumulative effect so I can tell you is my experience on these, uh, I guess it'll be six days by the time the video is done tomorrow. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't cost much. Well, I shouldn't say that, the hemp parts are pretty expensive, but anyway, it doesn't cost much, relatively speaking, for your health. And uh, I think it's a good way to affect some weight loss right before the season starts. One other side benefit of doing something like this is that if you have a really solid, healthy meal in the beginning of the day, it I've noticed that it tends to affect my choices later throughout the day. So if I make one healthy choice, the dominoes keep spinning or keep knocking over and I keep making healthy, healthy choices. Uh, yesterday I had a burger and fries, so I slipped that up a little bit, but then I felt bad about it and wanted to correct for dinner, so I did. I had a huge bowl of rice with mushrooms and that was it. So anyway, that's my thoughts today, race fam. Alright, today is Saturday. That was the final weigh-in. I gave you my thoughts on the end of the other video from yesterday and really happy with how I summed all that up. So I don't think I'm going to redo that. Uh, I'll just leave you with this thought. I think the biggest thing from this experiment was that starting with something healthy leads to healthier choices throughout the rest of the week. I didn't make wholesale shifts to my diet like I mentioned, but it definitely had an impact on the choices I was making, which had a really good impact on my weight. So as a pre-race prep, I think green smoothies are a great way to drop some weight. All right, thanks for watching Brian Davis Races. A goal of our channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, and grow our fitness, and we would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thanks.